Praise you, Jesus. Let us study on overcoming fear and worry. Fear and worry are not from God, which is why there is no such thing as a little fear being okay. Worry is, in fact, negative meditation. And it is sin because God has instructed us not to worry about anything. Let me repeat that again. Worry is, in fact, negative meditation and it is sin. Why? Because God has instructed us not to worry about anything. We are born again spirits and our born again spirits do not manufacture fear. Rather, fear enters our heart from the outside, that is, through words, through thoughts, and the suggestion of the devil that bombards our minds. The antidote to fear is embracing the love of God for you, as well as walking in love towards others. When you and I have absolute confidence in God's love for us, fear cannot gain a foothold in our mind and in our heart. We have been given the spirit of fear. We have been given a spirit of fear? No. It has come from the devil. We have not been given the spirit of fear. But power, love, and a sound mind. Let me repeat that again. We have not, not, not been given the spirit of fear, but we have been given by God what? Power, love, and a sound mind. Therefore, refuse to accept fear by putting your trust in God's word and speaking words of faith on a, consist on a consistent basis. I repeat that again, please listen to this. Refuse to accept any kind of fear, not even little fear. How do you do that? by putting your trust in God's word and speaking God's word of faith on a consistent basis. So let us study, memorize, and speak it with confidence, believing words, confessing the words, to defeat every kind of worry and fear. Praise God. So let's begin. I am the body of Christ and Satan has no power over me. I am the body of Christ and Satan has no power over me. For I overcome evil with good. For I overcome evil with good. I am of God and have overcome Satan. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I am of God and have overcome Satan. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. God has not given me the spirit of fear but I possess power, love, and a sound mind. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but I possess power, love, and a sound mind. 
I did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but I have received the spirit of adoption by whom I cry, Abba, Father. I did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but I have received the spirit of adoption by whom I cry, Abba, Father. Christ partook of our humanity so that through death he brought to nothing him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and delivered all of us who through fear of death were subject to bondage. Christ partook of our humanity so that to, through death he brought to nothing him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and delivered all of us who, through fear of death, were subject to bondage. I will fear no evil, for you are with me, Lord, and your word and Holy Spirit comfort me. I will fear no evil, for you are with me, Lord, and your word and Holy Spirit comfort me. I take no thought for tomorrow, but I put my trust in you to meet all my needs today. I seek first the kingdom of God and all other things are added to me. I take no thought for tomorrow, but I put my trust in you to meet all my needs today. I seek first the kingdom of God and all other things are added to me. I reject worry and I refuse to meditate on things that do not align with the word of God. I reject worry and I refuse to meditate on the things that do not align with the word of God. I think on those things that are of good report and I do not allow negative thoughts to infiltrate my mind. I think on those things that are of good report and I do not allow negative thoughts to infiltrate my mind. I cast down fearful thoughts by speaking the word of God. I cast down fearful thoughts by speaking the word of God. There is no fear in love, but perfect love cast out fear because fear carries the expectation of punishment. There is no fear in love, but perfected love casts out fear because fear carries the expectation of punishment. I overcome all fear by maintaining God's perfect standard of love in my life. I overcome all fear by maintaining God's perfect standard of love in my life. I allow the love of God for me and in me to flush fear out of my mind and heart. I allow the love of God for me and in me to flush fear out of my mind and heart. Lord, you have said that you will in no way leave me, neither will you in any way forsake me, so I can courageously say, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear. 
what can man do to me lord you have said that you will in no way leave me neither will you in any way forsake me so i can courageously say the lord is my helper i will not fear what can man do to me i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears i sought the lord and he answered me and delivered me from all fears because i continue to look to him i am radiant and my face is never covered with shame because i continue to look to him i am radiant my my face is never covered with shame i shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walk in darkness nor of the destruction that waste at noon day because i have made the lord my refuge and the most high my dwelling place no evil shall happen to me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling i shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that wastes at noon day because i have made the lord my refuge the most high my dwelling place no evil shall happen to me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for you o lord are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for you o lord are with me your rod and your staff they comfort me the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear i do not fear people circumstances or situations that come up against me christ has left me his peace and i appropriate that peace in my life rather than give into fear the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear i do not fear people circumstances or situations that come up against me christ has left me his peace and i appropriate that peace in my life rather than give into fear i do not fear what other people fear neither am i troubled about anything i do not fear what other people fear neither am i troubled about anything i am in no way frightened by adversaries i believe in christ and his power to deliver me from my enemies i am in no way frightened by adversaries i believe in christ and his power to deliver me from my enemies i am not anxious about what i will eat or drink or wear instead i seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things are given to me as well 
I am not anxious about what I will eat or drink or wear. Instead, I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things are given to me as well. Because I override anxiety by taking every issue and request to God through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, the peace of God which surpasses all understanding guards my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. Because I override anxiety by taking every issue and request to God through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding guards my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. Since God resists the proud but gives more grace to the humble, I keep myself submitted under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt me in due time. I cast each and every care on him because he cares for me. Since God resists the proud but gives more grace to the humble, I keep myself submitted under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt me in due time. I cast each and every care on him because he cares for me. I do not fear what man can do to me because I know God loves me and I believe his love for me surpass any attack of the enemy against my life. He reserves my life. I do not fear what man can do to me because I know God loves me. And I believe his love for me surpasses any attack of the enemy against my life. He preserves my life. I am far from oppression and fear does not come near me. I am far from oppression and fear does not come near me. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the Lord. But whatsoever I will do will prosper for I am like a tree that's planted by the rivers of water. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for my righteousness is of the Lord. But whatsoever I do will prosper for I am like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. I am delivered from the evils of this present world for it is the will of God concerning me. I am delivered from the evils of this present world for it is the will of God concerning me. No evil will befall me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling for the Lord has given his angels charge over me and they keep me in all my ways and in my pathway is life and there is no death. No evil befall me neither shall any plague come near my dwelling for the Lord has given his angels charge over me and they keep me in all my ways and all my pathway is life and there is no death. I take the shield of faith and I quench every fiery dart that the wicked one brings against me. I take the shield of faith and I quench every fiery dart that the wicked one brings against me. 
I am an overcomer and I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I am an overcomer and I overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I am submitted to God and the devil flees from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. I am submitted to God and the devil flees from me because I resist him in the name of Jesus. I walk in faith and not in fear. Fear is a spiritual force that is under the law of sin and death. However, I am no longer subject to that law. I walk in faith and not in fear. Fear is a spiritual force that is under the law of sin and death. However, I am no longer subject to that law. The spirit, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, I do not walk in fear. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. Therefore, I establish his word upon this earth. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, I do not walk in fear. The word of God is forever settled in heaven. Therefore, I establish his word upon this earth. Heavenly Father, I thank you, I praise you, for these are your promises, O Lord. And these promises activates and has activated the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus and has made me free from the law of sin and death. Every word that I had spoken in the past which was not aligning with the word of God, has got deactivated, has been terminated, and completely destroyed and nullified. And I thank you, Lord, that as this word of faith has been confessed and believed, I see with my eyes of faith, Lord, everything has changed in my favor. And I thank you and I praise you in advance, O Lord, that I receive the breakthrough, I receive what I believed in my heart and confessed with my mouth and I receive victory over victory over victory in the name of Jesus. And I declare, Lord, that you, you have blessed me and your blessings have manifested in my life. So with this anointing, I go out and be a blessing to those around me, and I declare, I am blessed to be a blessing to the nations in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Amen.